Number two. <laughs> Super dog on Saturdays. We try to find you the upsets, kids. Who you got there? I got Baylor this week. You know, uh, the Red Raiders did me uh, good last week, so I'm sticking with the Big 12. I got Baylor, Kansas State. Hopefully, um, hopefully we can update my picture too. Let's get the old thorough picture. <laughs> I think Penn State is a great team, but I think they better be ready for Indiana. Indiana is a team that's getting healthy. Quarterback can throw the football. They've got some good receivers. Penn State likes to pressure, and that's something that Indiana can sometimes take advantage of. I think Penn State will win this game. It's going to be a lot closer than people expect. I got Colorado oh. minus eight against UCLA. Now listen, UCLA can't stop anybody, but they have beaten Colorado four or five times. Not this year. The buffs in an upset. Bounce back week. Yeah. Wow. 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 They'll, okay. be okay. back. They'll be back. Okay. Here's a super. I'll take, All a, right. I'll take a wild hack and take Syracuse. I like this one. Against North Carolina State. Now, we know Clemsoning is obsolete. Right. We might find out if wolf packing is a thing. Good mm. call. Something yeah. good happens. So, so you're going with that. This has as much to do with last week as this yeah. week. Yeah. And the fact. And the fact that Syracuse's offense starting right. to hit its stride. Give LSU a scare. Uh, Herbie had his first loss last week. Though. I know. I got a yeah. big bounce back. I had a, I had a I'm, big still, win. I'm still laughing at you guys. Oh, hey, there we go. Look, first, first quarter of business. I got to update the picture. There comes Come Des. Yeah. There he is. Yeah. Roll it now. Roll it. Hey, don't, 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 don't lose headshot number two right there. 4-0. I saw that. Making the people some money, Coach Keeping Corso. The, keeping the, uh, the, to the, the experts. Thing. Thing. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at our Saturday selections for today. Right. Tommy, brought to you by Chevrolet. And some pain was brought oh, to Hokie oh, and Bill's oh, opponents yeesh. by this Hall of Famer, Bruce Smith. One of the greatest defensive players in the history of the sport at any level. Athlete. Yes, sir. Athlete. Wearing that yeah, man. Chicago maroon Ooh. and burnt orange with pride. Hey, well, we had to play this guy. Dudes were nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame them. Exactly. Man. I bet you never wanted to catch any kind of tunnel screen no, running back no, in no, no, no. Not this week. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's start making some picks. It started right, the Big 12, Oklahoma State trying to bounce back against Texas Tech on the road. Tell you what, Texas Tech, um, big win last week against Houston. Helped me out with my super dog pick. But I got to go Cowboys. I think they bounced back from that TCU uh, loss. So I'm going Oklahoma State. I'm also going with Oklahoma State. Uh, they have a very talented QB that can put yeah. up a lot of points. Yeah, uh, the defense point. has to hold up to the end of the bargain, though. Yeah. There you yeah. Go. Oklahoma State's beaten them five times in a row and average 54 points doing it. Mm. Oklahoma State, nice pick. Way to go. Nice. Smart, smart. I love the way to go. Wait, wait, See, this wait, is wait, wait. they always say pack a sandwich for these games that take four yeah, hours. Yeah, oh, yeah. This, this is the proverbial this week pack a sandwich, sandwich game. I think Texas Tech at home will score, but I don't think Mason Rudolph, Lee's guy, gets back in the Heisman race with a big day. You don't have to pack a sandwich here. They throw you tortillas. Oh, there you right, go. Right. There you they, go. They, they always do that. How about Iowa and Michigan State? Iowa heartbreaking loss at the end against Penn State. Michigan State a little sloppy against the Irish. I worry about about the carryover from that game, the Penn State game, because that was an emotional loss for the Hawkeyes. I mean, they just one play away from pulling off a big upset at home. And they couldn't get it done. So I think uh, Sparty's going to pull out a close game. Low scoring ball game, but I got Sparty beating Iowa. Well, coming off of a loss to uh, Penn State, this team's going to be hungry for a victory. Uh, I'm, I'm going to think that uh, this game is going to be one in the trenches. So yep. yeah. I'm going with Ohio. Iowa. Oh, Iowa. 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 Okay. So Iowa. Yeah. Not so fast. <laughs> Not so fast. <laughs> Not so fast. Michigan and I was still hurting from last week. Yeah. Michigan State by touchdown. I'm, you're, I'm in with, you're in sacking distance. I'm with I just want you to know. <laughs> you're, you're, he said you're within sacking distance. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm going Iowa. I, I, Bruce, I think that uh, this game will be won or lost in the trenches. And I just think that Iowa is a really good football team. I think they got some mental toughness to bounce back, even after a disappointing last-second uh, loss to Penn State. Give me the Hawkeyes in a close game, low-scoring close game. Okay, Mississippi State did not play well. Georgia overpowered them. Very similar-looking defense when they go against Auburn, 6 o'clock on ESPN. I'm going with Auburn. I think Auburn's defense is going to be the difference in this in this game. Uh, Mississippi State didn't look good against Georgia. I think Auburn looked at that film and they said our defense is as good, if not better, than the Georgia Bulldogs defense. I'm going Auburn in a close one. Uh, Dez, I'm I'm going to con concur with you. Uh, 
Auburn. I'm a defensive guy. Exactly. Offense you got great defense. defense. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm going with Auburn. Great pick. Wait a minute. <laughs> guy knows what he's talking about. Carlson, the place kicker from yeah. Auburn, he's the difference. The difference. So yes. close game. Close game. Okay. I'm, I'm with all you guys. I think I think Auburn's defense is is just as tough as Georgia's on the road, and I think Auburn's offense is starting to really find an identity now with uh, Jared Stidham. So I like I like Auburn at home. South Carolina takes on Texas A&M, and there doesn't seem to be any reason in the world to pick the Gamecocks except can you trust the Aggies? Who have you got? And that's a good reason. I don't know if we can trust the Aggies. I mean, big game last week. They beat Arkansas in, double, in overtime, but I don't know. I think they'll probably outscore South Carolina. I just don't have a lot of trust in their offense, but I do think they'll win a close game. But I love the way South Carolina's playing, especially defensively. But I'm going to go with the Aggies. I'm going with A&M as well. Uh, uh, coming off of a big game, uh, they have one of the best wide receivers in the country. So here we go, Texas A&M. Yeah. Great job. That's good stuff you read there. I, I do my homework. <laughs> <laughs> I do my homework. Guys, guys do the homework. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm thinking Aggies. I'm going to go. You're going. <laughs> That's it. It's real stuff. I'm, I'm going to go with A&M. I, you know, I, I think that uh, that South Carolina offensively on the road, I just don't. I like the quarterback. I don't know what's around the quarterback. Do they have enough to really threaten A&M? So I'm going to go with Texas A&M. Texas A&M, if they win today, quietly 4-1. Yeah. They're for a while, felt like, and, oh, felt yeah. like they were 0 felt like they were 0-3. <laughs> That's right. They're 4-1. It could be 5-0. and Yeah. And that was after giving away that big lead against UCLA. Right. Also in the SEC, yeah. Vanderbilt and Florida. I touched on this a minute ago. Derek Mason's daughter is a lacrosse player at Florida. She, may, she can't root against her dad, right? No, no, no she chance. Can't. No. She can't do that. No, no. So is she going to be happy or sad if she's rooting for dad at the end of the day? Uh, I think she's going to be sad, but she won't be able to show it because she'll still be in Gainesville. Okay. But I do think the Gators will win. But I do think, hey, hey Derek is going to have his guys ready to play. They're going to play a, a, a high-spirited game. I think it's going to be very competitive. But I think Florida got too many athletes on the field for Vandy. So I'm going with the Gators. I'm, I'm going with the Gators as well. I think it's going to be a tough matchup. But uh, overall, I think that uh, Florida will prevail. Mm -hmm. Nice going. Both of you guys smart. We call each other. <laughs> <I mean, laughs> hey, give me a, I'll give you a note. Coach McElwain is 12-1 and one at home. He's making 13 to 1 at home. He's going to win this. But, but I think we all agree that, that Vandy's going to show up the way they looked maybe the first three weeks yeah. and not the way they looked last week. I, I think it's a competitive game. I think Vandy's defense alone will keep them in the game. But I think Luke Del Rio, I've talked about it the whole show, I think him being inserted in their quarterback gives him a, a veteran guy who knows the offense and they, he's going to find a way to win it at the end. I like Florida, but close. Here you talk about the way things could change for Texas A&M. How could things change for Tennessee if they beat Georgia again? Will they? Oh, no, not at all. <laughs> no, 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 that no, no, ain't no. happening. No, no. I got the Bulldogs. I got the Bulldogs. And those games are kind of close normally, you know, but I really do, do think the Bulldogs will beat them by at least two touchdowns. I, I, uh, I don't know about the two touchdown part, mm -hmm. but uh, I'm certainly picking Georgia. I think uh, uh, they're going to come out strong and be fired up and ready to play. A yeah. little more than one touchdown is important yeah. to some yeah, people. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you might win this thing. You <laughs> Georgia, Georgia in a boring old-fashioned way. This Low we, we, score and ugly. Everything, ugly. everything has Georgia blowing Tennessee out, which makes no. you think it's going to be really, really close. Last year was a game. Do it. Do it. I I, I, come on, I, come on. I, that, I can't because that Georgia, Georgia defense is yeah, just too, too good. good. Yeah. But it's going to be, it's going to be, it's not going to be a blowout. Yeah. Rescheduled game Memphis and UCF both have beaten Power 5 teams coming up. Who do you like? I'm going with uh, Riley Ferguson and Memphis. I think they're going to win this game. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, Disagree? I missed that memo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm going with UCF. Yeah. Um, I, I think it's going to be a very competitive game. And as it will you be. Stated, he loves I, this. I, I think you've just stated that uh, both of them beat uh, uh, power ranked teams. So uh, I'm going to take a shot and go with UCF. Central Florida. The game is played in beautiful downtown Orlando, <laughs> where I live. <laughs> nice. Night by, by a safety. You know when they when when they put UCF football together, they have the airport there. And yeah, everything. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Memphis oh. and Riley Ferguson and the Tats mm -hmm. to get it done today. <laughs> I like I like Memphis. <laughs> All right, let's do a little, little tempo offense here. What about Cal Oregon? High scoring ball game. Oregon at home, pull it out. I'm going Ducks. Ducks. 
Same here. All right. Here we go, my right. guy. I'm going Ducks. All right. Ducks. We'll be back yeah. in sync now. Ducks love this swim at home. Ducks. It's a great reason for me, too. I'm going to go with the Ducks <laughs> swimming at home. Uh, this, this seems weird. Winless Florida State against undefeated Wake Forest. Does that change? You know, I, I, I went... Um, I went against Florida State a week ago. It's really tough for me to pick Florida State. I think their defense is going to be the difference in this game. I think they're going to be, be uh, waking a close one, maybe by a field goal. So I'm, I'm going Seminoles, but a very, very close one, Bruce. Well, well what's the motivation for F F F FSU? Yeah. Uh, I think Wake is going to come out guns blazing. And yeah. They're going to be ready to play. So uh, you're going Wake. Particularly at their home yeah. stadium. Right. Yeah, Interesting. You're going Wake. wake. I'm going Wake. It's a good pick. Man, you know where I went to school? Go ahead. Florida State. There you go. Well, Guess who's going to win? Yeah. Florida State. <laughs> <laughs> I like what you said, Bruce, about what does Florida State have to play for. Right. What's the because motivation? Because they're 0 2. Right now, championships are gone. Man, yeah. Uh, but but I, I do think Jimbo Fisher finds ways to push the buttons, and they're going to win like a 17 13 kind yeah. of game, low game. scoring. And he can push them. Yeah, he can. Yeah. Yeah. He can. Yeah. It's gotten a little quiet here. You know why? why? There we go. They're waiting on the main event. There yes, we go. Guys. Okay. There we Clemson go. Clemson and Virginia Tech tonight. Enter Sandman will play. The Hokies will touch the Hokie Stone and when they take the field they'll know they're 1 and 30 against top five opponents. They are 0 and 7 against the reigning national champions and they are 0 for Clemson for the last decade. The Terror Dome is open and perhaps tonight will be the night for a landmark win in the Fuente era. Feel the energy in the stadium. A hostile environment. We're gonna be ready for it. It just feels like the ground is shaking. It's just like, wow. The hostile environment, fun environment, but I'm really looking forward to getting welcomed by all the uh, Hokies. This one counts. Everybody, all the team is amped up. It's a big time game. Anytime you can win on the road, a conference opponent, that's just great momentum for you. Stage is set. Herbie will be calling the game tonight. LC getting everything ready to go over there. Who's going to win the game? Get ready. Get ready. I tell you what, there are about five great defensive coordinators all of college football, right? Two of them will be on coaching tonight. Brent Venables and Bud Foster. Low scoring ball game. I think it will come down to special teams. Remember this name, Joey Sly. Virginia Tech wins a close one by a oh. field goal. Shoot that cannon, baby. I know where you're going, right? This is what we came to see. This is what we came to see. Welcome to Black, Blacksburg, guys. Thanks, yes, buddy. Thank you, man. Uh, this is going to be a great game tonight. If you look at the stats, uh, the uh, Hokies offensive line have only given up four sacks. Mm -hmm. Clemson has uh, their defensive line has gotten 17 sacks. That's right. Mm -hmm. So the keys to this ball game is. We need to run the ball, establish the run, whether it's mixing up some runs with the quarterback, establishing runs with, the, with our running backs. That, that will take them out, out of their game, of right. just being able to pin their ears back and you. tee off on yeah. us. Yeah. So, so uh, to make a long story short, and it, we're similar on offense. On offense, we're scoring 40 points a game. They're scoring 30.8 points a game. Yeah. So I'm going go. with the Hokies. Hokies! Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, do you remember the Thursday night game we called here years ago? Yeah, oh, man, there's so many. Which which one are you talking about? The one that was canceled by lightning. 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 Didn't something happen to your car in that one? Lightning blew up my national rental car. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we have video from that. Wait. This big no, no, no. six foot oh, toe. Yeah. This big old, there's no way you'll pick again. You gotta pick this, right? Oh, you gotta pick yeah, the Hokies. Right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. 
There's no clouds in the sky. There's no lightning. Give me that tiger head. Oh! Champs, 